And you are welcome back. It's our final segment here for today. And we have someone very interesting whom I'd like you to meet. Her name is Babatunde Hafsa Olayemi. She's a female biker and she recently accomplished something not even male bikers could do. A solo ride covering an impressive 5,900 kilometers through all 19 northern states of Nigeria and the federal capital territory. A distance that's kind of like equivalent to traveling across West Africa. Hafsa, you are welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good we morning. We finally get to meet for the first time. We've had interactions on social media. I've congratulated you on your fit. I've talked about your traveling and all, but this is the first time we're actually meeting in person. Yeah. And along with everybody else, we're very curious. For the first time, I'm asking you now, with Nigeria in view, how did you accomplish such a great fit? Please tell us. Good morning. My, how I was able to do that was because... When I started riding, I loved to explore. I loved mm -hmm. to be able to go to places. And when I heard about a trip to Gombe, I told my friend I would like to go. But I felt going down to Gombe alone would not be too much fun for me. So I just said, OK, let me try and do the whole of North. Uh -huh. When I said that, my friends were like, how? Are you, do you know what you're saying? I said, yes, I feel I should go. People go there and come back. Yeah. So, at first, everybody did not agree, but later we sat down, think about to make it happen, the security part, the whole thing. And when that was done, started the trip July 4th. I started with, I got to Abuja from there, then continued to the next state, to um, Benue, to um, Gobe. So you, you did this for how many days in a row? 21 days. 21 days. On Where, oh, who, who gives you leave of 21 days? <laughs> because I, I, I imagine that you have a job and everything. You took out 21 days. There's plenty of questions regarding the North. I've been biking for 17 years. Yeah. 18 years, actually. And I have not done what you have done to travel around the North. The courage, first of all, that's a big one. And then the fact that you're also female. So how did that play into things? Did you consider... I'm a lady and I'm riding through the north. How did people accept you when you went to these different places? Before leaving the house, I was told the northern parts, most people don't accept their ladies to do things. Mm -hmm. And that kind of feel so much to me. I was told when I get to the north, avoid removing your element. Mm -hmm. So in order not for them to know that I'm a girl or something. Mm -hmm. But by the time I started the trip, got to some places, Whenever I even speak, they were like, are you a lady? I said, yes. When I removed my ornament, everybody is always glad, like, wow, this is truly a lady. So the reception was good. The, the... reception was awesome, even more than what I expected. Really? Yes. Yeah, so it's not as bad as we think, because most people think that this is very insecure. Most people think that people might not, especially that you're a lady, might not uh, receive you um, uh, properly. But it was a t totally different experience. So it's a totally different experience because... By the time I started the trip, when I was on the road, I, the, we've talked about the insecurity part. Mm -hmm. I, I was restricted to ride during the day, no night to ride. Okay. So wherever I get to, when it's getting dark, I just have to sleep over, lodge in an hotel, okay. then continue my movement the next day. And by the time I was able to, I was getting to some stages, I was getting tired, truly. Uh -huh. yes, and I was getting encouragement by friends. Like, they're always eager to meet me, like, where are you now? Okay, we'll meet you here, they'll join me. And that gave me more zeal to go ahead uh -huh. and be able to accomplish the whole 19 states. Because wow. 19 northern part is not... 19 states. Is not, okay, so what, what was it like, all 19 states? Tell us, in a general uh, way, what it was like. How beautiful is Nigeria? Because I try to tell people myself, but nobody kind of like understands why I do it. So you've been to 19 states. What is Nigeria? Nigeria is a good place to be. It's peaceful. It's just the interpretation about, of people. Some okay. people believe what they heard, but I was able to see it for myself. Mm. When I got to Castina, the hospitality, it is really, truly a home of suspect. Wow. Because I was overwhelmed. I was received by people. You were overwelcomed. In fact, I was received by people. I was given different reasons to be there. They don't want me to go. Mm. When I got to Kano, the same reception, mm -hmm. these people are not like... They are not even mean. Mm. They are, whenever I get mm. there, when they see me, a lady doing this, they want me to meet their family, to show them wow. that this is a lady doing something. So you can achieve it. I just Did feel... Did it help that you're Muslim as well? Did that help as well? As a Muslim? Well, I think so. Because hmm. generally, religious, 
even when I met the Christians, they are not even bothered about my religion. They Fantastic. Just, if, I don't understand Aosa, so uh -huh. I just greet good morning or I try to use my hand to express. And once they get the information, we just communicate. Wow, that's beautiful. So how did you travel? You had a, you had a top box. The top box is the little box at the end of your bike. What was inside? Did you have a toolbox? Did you experience mechanical issues? Did you fix it? I have questions. I know what happens on the, ro on the road, but how did you manage it? What comprised of your top box? My top box, I had my provisions, my clothes, and um, my tools. Mm. Even though I don't really have 100% knowledge of this, anything happened. But thank God, at some point I had issue. What was your biggest issue, your biggest My challenge? biggest issue was I had a cat eat me. <gasps> no! But thank God I was safe. So I was able to fix that within days. Okay. And I was able to continue my journey. That was a time I had chain issue. I'm always having chain issue. I don't yeah. know. So I was able to call, you know, one thing about biking what is, once you call someone, there is only someone always at the other end to receive you. So immediately I had that issue. I was able to call one or two and they came to my rescue and fixed the bike immediately and I continued my journey. Well, well, let's go back to the part where a car hit you. What, what state was, it, was this? What happened? So I was going be, I was heading out of a venue thing. I just, it was just a little one, but then I never knew it's going to take me like more than a day to fix. Okay. Wow, so just like that's that. interesting. Well, you know the funny thing about it, and I'll tell you guys, whatever happens while you're on these trips, whether good or bad, it's always a part of the experience. Of course. And it always builds your morale, builds your courage. You want to do more. Yeah. Now, it's, it's fantastic. I want us to show a chart, if we can, please, a chart of all the 19 states. We have a, a, a chart of everywhere that you visited. You started from Lagos to Abuja. I started from Abelkuta. From Abelkuta, sorry. Yes, it's from Abelkuta. And then you got to... Akure, from Ak Akure to Jeba, Abuja, to Lassa, Lafia, Benue, Baochi, then to Gombe. Yeah, that, there's the chart there. Yeah. There's the chart there. Very interesting. Baochi, Gombe, Adamawa. Taraba is a place I'd love to be. I'd love to go. Um, and then Adamawa, Borno. You have traveled far more than I have um, across Nigeria. And you've been biking for how long? I started biking last year, September. Jeez. So, I'm less than so a you're, you've done this in less than a year of biking? Yes. Wow, what can I say about myself? I've been doing this for 18 years and I haven't ever done this. I feel, I don't know, I feel so belittled. <laughs> maybe I should come to you for tips. Okay, so to everybody out there who has maybe a less than um, informed uh, perception of bikers generally, what do you have to tell them, especially as a female biker? We are, all we are all human beings. We should treat each other equal. We should be nice to each other. And I feel the way people see bikers, they feel these people are not serious or not responsible. But we are good people too. I was able to explain this state because uh, people that have received me are bikers and more other people. I think we should all have a different reception about bikers. We are human beings and we are good people too. Human Biking beings. is fun. Join us and see. Exactly. Human beings, we're family men, family women, we have relatives and all of that. It was an awesome experience, I bet. Um, you also have trips that, that uh, traverse into other countries. You've been to Port Novo before. What should we be looking forward to? What's your next trip? Where are you going? My next trip should be Senegal. Senegal. That's a long one. That is absolutely long. Well, tell you what, I hope to be on that trip with you if you let me know the date. I will oil my chains and polish my boots and I'll be right behind you. So it's great to have you here and congratulations Thank for achieving so that in under a year of riding. Well, hey, we, we applaud you, but we will not let you go because we want to bring you over into the kitchen where you must have something before you set off again today. Mike has been cooking. Mike is that guy over there. Come on over, come on over, come on over. are here and great to have two wonderful ladies here doing wonderful things and incidentally most of what you did is in the north and also chef Walia. fantastic oh, i did not like <laughs> this was was did we plan this today 
you know, see, so Mazido, normally when people say, come and join us, like a conference, yes. like, oh, uh, we're having a conference tomorrow, uh -huh. come and join us. Uh -huh. It's just small. Let's say, we're a biker, come, come and join us. Yeah. Who will exactly. buy the bike for me? I want to join. <laughs> okay, I want to join. What's the average price for a bike? Ha! Average, average. Also, please. Tell me. Go ahead. Average I'll price. The price of a bike is just like Kony Nika. Okay. Go for what you can afford. So, with 1.52, can I get 1.5? You should be. One? Okay. Not Okada, oh. Power <laughs> bike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we'll join where we can. But yeah, we made this. Oh, Chef Walia, talk to us about what you made. It's you now. Okay, welcome. Thank I'm you. a Giz Dodo. So we are pairing it with rice, white rice. Okay, so okay. you want to have a taste? Try it out and let's see what you think about again, it. Again, okay, again. just try, just try. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's see what you think. And. Um, I'll know if I'll buy your bike from you. How many bikes no. do you have, by the way? Mike, oh, if you're going to... Just one. Just one. Okay, no. Okay. Say again? I don't want have more than one bike at the time. I, I've got two. It's okay. <laughs> and with your two, you have Stop looking at me like that. As don't much as a one-year-old. Oh, when you're 18 years. Right to our toughest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it? What do you think about it? It's lovely. I all right. Like it. Okay. Delicious. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Fantastic. you. It was a pleasure having well both done. of you. Thank and you. And this is all of us here saying we wish you the best. And, uh, you know, go further. Live your dreams. Thank well you done. So Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fantastic today. today. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been inspired by it's you South all. Africa next. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, who joined us from 7 a.m. If you didn't, well, you missed out. If you're only just joining us, but you can catch it on YouTube. Make sure that you do. That's TVC Entertainment, R.TV on YouTube. And, of course, hey, we'll catch you guys again tomorrow for another edition. Maybe you catch that one for a Wednesday. Thank you, and goodbye, everybody. Bye.